Welcome to PCC Global TV. I'm Paul Jacobs, and I am so excited to be here with you today to share on the testimonies of the Lord. Um, this is just amazing because we here at Panorama Christian Center, our mission is to build communities by building people. And God has been building communities. He's been building and encouraging his people through the word of the Lord. We believe here at Panorama Christian Center that one word of God can change your very life. But the question simply is this, what is that word? Is it the word ministered in the Bible? Yes. Is it the word preached over the pulpit on Sunday? Yes. But it's also the word of testimony to God's people. And that brings me to our guests, uh, Rashad Rollison and his lovely wife, Ecstasy McKenzie Rollison. Welcome. Thank you for having us. Pleasure to be here. All right. It is a pleasure to have you and to share what you titled in your testimony, The Promise of God Fulfilled. We'll get to that a little bit. Uh, it, it, I want to really begin, and it, it all starts with and centers around our clergy celebration. And for those of you that are watching PCC Global TV for the very first time, you may have heard or may not have heard, we every year in November have a celebration. It is a time where we honor the Lord God as we honor the gift that God has given us in this house, Apostle Emmanuel J. McKenzie. But God has been turning the table and shifting on us the last few years. And even though we still honor the man of God, God has been blessing us. And it all began with a relationship that the man of God, Mr. McKenzie, had connected with Prophet Raphael Grant out of Atlanta, Georgia. Now, he was here for the very first time in 2017 and ministering as he was our guest speaker. And you, Rashad, received a prophetic word on that very first visit. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't we listen to that prophetic word right now? When I touch your forehead, the number just appeared in my palm. The Lord said, I should tell you. Huh? I should tell you. When I touch your forehead, 32 appeared in my palm. And the Lord said, I should tell you that by the time you are 32, you will be carrying your son. So, in November of 2017, God spoke through the man of God, Prophet Raphael Grant. And I, I want to quote, by the time you are 32, you'll be carrying your son. So, the question is simply this, were you pregnant? No, I wasn't. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, let's just make sure we get that on the record here. Um, so, then, of course, my question now is, how did you exercise your faith? in the light of this prophetic word that God gave you? Well, in 2017, when we received that word, we definitely knew that word came from God. Um, so being that God spoke that to us, we started making preparations. Uh, we went shopping for baby clothes. We started looking at cribs and things of that sort, looking at decorations. Um, we began to prepare uh, for the blessing that God was sending us. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Again. I want to make sure, because I, I don't have it in my notes. Were you pregnant? No, I wasn't. <laughs> okay, all right. But you're shopping for baby clothes and preparing. This is this is awesome. So did you see the manifestation of God immediately after the prophetic word while this was going on? No, um, we didn't see the manifestation for a couple of years. <laughs> a couple of years. Yes. And the, okay, all right. So let me not get ahead of myself, because I'm excited. <laughs> and I, I'm supposed to be conducting the interview for you. So, okay. How did you keep your, your focus fixed on Jesus as you were waiting on the promise of God to be fulfilled in your life? Well, we here at Panorama, or even if you follow Panorama, you've heard um, what I'm about to share through Apostle Emmanuel J. McKenzie in some form of variation that uh, you have to see it before you see it or else you won't see it. So um, we would encourage one another as we're you know, driving. We would you know, imagine being on vacation uh, with our son um, Sunday is a um, it's family day for us. So as we're having family time, as we're eating, as we're watching a movie, as we're having family meetings, we would um, envision um, our you know our son being there, enjoying family time. Um, even uh, some of the clothes that we actually purchased, um, we intentionally um, put them on a wall that we would see every day. So every day we would be reminded of what God spoke to us. Okay, so you're living. Jacob's life, literally, as he envisioned, you know, as he put out in front of the, the, the goats, he, he literally was in, those goats were envisioning what they saw, and you were doing this every single day. Yes. yes. Were you pregnant? 
<laughs> no, I wasn't. <laughs> I have to keep asking because I'm trying to understand. This is truly uh, faith lived out. I love this. This is awesome. So let's go to a video that is from 2019. And now Prophet Raphael Grant has come back two years later. And God highlights you to him in this prophetic word. I, I am seeing this. Look at me. The Lord is telling me to tell you that next year, May 15th, next year, May 15th, God is going to bless you with a gift that will bring you joy. Let your wife stand beside you. May 15th. I don't know why May 15th. I don't understand why May 15th. But the Spirit of the Lord is speaking to me that next year, May 15th, God is going to bless you with a gift. And the gift will be coming from heaven. You will hear good news. This is awesome. God spoke to you both at, during this prophetic word that next year, May 15th, and he didn't know why, the, the man of God didn't know why, but God was speaking through the man of God, next year, May 15th, that the, you would have a gift that would bring you joy, and that gift would come through your wife. So May 15th, 2020, what was, what was it that God blessed you with? Oh, let me start by saying uh, May 15th is my birthday. <laughs> So since May 15th is his birthday, his birthday was on a Friday, and I actually found out that I was pregnant on that Monday. So immediately, the Holy Spirit brought, brought to my remembrance the word that was spoken on May 15th. And I was like, May 15th, that Friday, that's when I want to tell him that I'm pregnant. <laughs> so I, you know, on May 15th, I had a card, I, had, I bought some clothes, and um, I presented him his gift. And so that is how he found out I was pregnant on his birthday, May 15th. <laughs> wow, this is so powerful. And then, of course, we all know Baby Emmanuel came, uh, and well, you were pregnant with Baby Emmanuel. This is yes. awesome. <laughs> and we're gonna, uh, we, I wanna show some images of Baby Emmanuel right here. Beautiful. This is, <laughs> I love it. This is great. Now, now let's get really, get really down to business here because someone here at this present moment watching us on PCC Global TV, um, they've received a promise from God just like you both did, but they're maybe struggling, wavering in their faith, trusting in God. What would you share with them right now? Well, just going back to um, seeing it before you see it. If you see it internally, you won't be moved by what you don't see externally. You know, and you, you, fo you don't focus on that, but you focus on what God said, what God has spoken, regardless of what the circumstance or situation may look like. You make a decision that this is what God has spoken. This is what I choose to believe. And we know that we serve a God that cannot lie. So that should help encourage us as well. That was something that encouraged me, you know, we first received it in 2017, and it didn't manifest until the following year, not the following year, but until uh, 2020, the year 2020. And so that's what encouraged me. We had, like Rashad had mentioned before, we had the baby clothes on the wall. So every morning, that's what I was seeing. That's, you know, was my focus. And we had the name printed out. So that was my focus. You know, we encouraged each other, you know, to not be to not lose hope, to but to keep our faith and our trust in God. So that was our focus. And, and all of that had to be by the grace of the Lord. Absolutely. You're talking two years of holding on to the promise by faith and hoping and trusting in God. 
would you right now just take a moment to our listen, or those who are watching PCC Global TV, hearing your testimony for the very first time, would you release that same grace that God has placed upon you both in order to encourage them with that same grace as they hold on to the promise of God for their life? Absolutely. Heavenly Father, the grace that you bestowed upon myself in ecstasy to have faith and trust and confidence in you, release it upon your people, my Father, my God. The word of God cannot be set aside, cannot be broken, cannot be canceled, cannot be annulled. Make this a personal reality to us. Make it a reality that the word of God cannot return unto you void. And if you spoke it, that you shall bring it to pass. Let our faith and our confidence not be in the word, but in the God who spoke the word. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. And it is so manifesting now. Amen. 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 We've had such a powerful time and just sharing a testimony of the promise of God fulfilled. And maybe you have a testimony of your own that you'd like to share with us here at PCC Global TV. And we'd like to hear from you. Simply go to our website, pccmiami.org. And then click on the testimonies page. Leave us your testimony. Because Revelations 19.10 verse B says, For the prophecy, the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. And just think for a moment that your testi testimony may be prophesying and encouraging and building hope in their promise to be fulfilled. Well, I'm Paul Jacobs, and with the Rollisons, and of course you saw baby Emmanuel, <laughs> thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time. God bless.